so uh, all of you welcome guys today we are going to uh, study about uh, taguchi analysis using mini tab software mini tab 17 so uh, first of all uh, we'll open a new project it is the basic step which you have to follow uh, yeah this is how the window uh, looks the mini tab software looks so uh, today i am going to uh, refer tanmaya agarwal's people like let me yeah the optimization of engine performance parameters and exhaust emissions in compression ignition engine fueled with biodiesel alcohol blends using tauchi method multiple regression and artificial neural networks okay uh, so uh, let's go on with important uh, terms like yeah these are the input parameters or the parameters which uh, we are varying in five levels so level one level two level three level four level five these are the five levels and load blend and rpm are the three parameters so how to input this this uh data so understand go to doe taguchi create taguchi design so uh we have five five levels and three parameters so five level design and uh, three parameters uh design uh l25 okay and okay and uh, the factors are the first one is load second one is blend and third one is rpm the load is varying as two four six eight ten uh, the blend is varying as zero. Okay, sorry. Uh, the load is varying as 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. And the blends are varying as 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. And the RPM is varying from 1350 to 1550, 1350, 1400, 1450, 1500, 1550. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is the L25 orthogonal array, which you get after all the So uh, moving on, now the output parameters uh, which they have taken is, uh, yeah, this. So A is nothing but load, B is blend, and C is RPM. So BTE, BSF, C, CO, NOx, HC, and CO2. These are all the uh, output parameters I have with me in the Excel sheet already, so I'll just uh, copy and paste, copy and paste with me mini tabs. Okay, now start DOE Taguchi analyze Taguchi design. So I'm analyzing with respect to BTE because the brake thermal efficiency will be like uh, largest the better so that uh, more the efficient is uh, more uh, useful so i'll select under options larger is better okay and uh, i'm going to uh, show only signal to noise ratio and uh, storage nothing and terms okay leave it as it is analysis signal to noise ratios okay 
so this is the SN curves, signal to noise curves. You can just compare with the output from this paper. So you can see here both are same. Okay. So uh, with respect to this signal to noise ratios, what we can conclude is the load under 80 kg or uh, sorry 80 is better and the blend under 15 percent is better the rpm with 1450 is better uh, the output parameters you can see here uh, what and all uh, the conditions load 80 under load 80 yes and uh, Blend 15 and 1450. Load 80, blend 50. And 1450 RPM. The yield would be maximum. Or uh, the brake thermal efficiency would be uh, maximum. So similarly, uh, let's go with uh, I'll just uh, mention it uh, we can also like all these terms what are there a uh, BSFC CO2 HC NOx and CO the storage or uh, sorry the options you should select the smaller is better because uh, all these things should be minimum which should be uh, great okay uh, now moving on with uh, I'll just show the regression model, fit regression model. I'm just selecting with respect to BTE and the predictors are load, blend, and RP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, keep it as it is. Everything, no nothing. Okay. So uh, this is the regression equation which we will get once we uh, apply, uh, like once we select all these parameters with respect to these parameters, what will be the equation with respect to these data which I have given as input, this is the equation which we will get. So let's compare with the equation parameters. See for BTE 15.232 plus 0.168 into load plus 0 0.052 into blend plus 0 0.0 RPM. Yeah, uh, the significance they have the set significance. So uh, here they are comparing the uh, mini tab with IBM statistics. The Taguchi with IBM statistics and uh, regression along with ANOVA. So what basically I'll just quickly show ANOVA. In stat, go to ANOVA, general linear model, fit general linear model. Here also same response would be BTE and factors are load, blend and RPM. So uh, keep all things as it is, okay. So here, uh, yeah, uh, this is the regression equation with respect to ANOVA. ANOVA basically uh, provides the uh, equation in form of all the interactions. You can see here, like uh, everything, every single minute data, it will take as input and provide the output. Mm. Yes, now you can see the fits and observations. Yeah, so the P values, the F values, and uh, the R square value, which plays a uh, very significant role in uh, ANOVA or any regression analysis. 
like uh, r square value should be greater than uh, 75 or 80 i guess uh, so they have got uh, around 99% which is awesome so uh, we, you can also compare with uh, like uh, the regression uh, equations which you get you can also use the excel or anything to calculate the uh, actual theoretical output uh, by giving the input as uh, of all those uh, what I say, uh, regression equations as you can see here this is the regression equation uh, which uh, we have used and the output are almost equal or almost significant so hope uh, this video was informative and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe yeah uh, then thank you